Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the website translate.google.com to translate words or sentences, or even to have some additional options here for comprehending information in different languages. So over here on the website, it's just translate.google.com and it's the one that comes up, has a little Google Translate up here in the top left corner. Um, so what we can do here is we can type out a word or we can copy and paste one in. Control C is keyboard shortcut for copy. and Control V is the keyboard shortcut to paste. And whenever you are ready to go there, you have a 5,000 character limit. So you can type in quite a bit, a whole sentence if you need to. And whenever I'm ready, type that in. I also have the option here, if I wasn't already using my microphone to record this video, I could technically speak the phrase or the word I want translated into my computer and it can translate it over here on the right. Same thing here. I can also listen to it aloud. Laboratorio de computación. All right. So once I have that translation here, I already have mine set to Spanish, but if you wanted to select a different language, you have all of these different options. I think there's 109 that are listed on there. You can copy this if you would like. And this little suggested edit button is if you notice that there is something that's wrong, you can also send suggestions to Google Translate if you're an expert in that language so they can improve the analytics and the information that they use here. So with that being said, I can also share this translation to someone via email or Twitter if I need to. So those are some really great options here for translating really quickly on the fly. The other one I want to show you is that if I just go to google.com, this is going to use the same technology here. If I type in how to pronounce a word in Spanish, it will also give me some additional options here. So it's going to show the same feature here where I have it in English, same translation here in Google Translate, similar view, and I can still listen to it out loud. But some of the other things that's great here is it brings up pictures too. So if you didn't want to just limit this to be only text, only reading type of input here for your students. And if you want to use the audio, you can, but the other option is just go to google.com and then you see this option here. So you can also just get rid of that. You just say computer in Spanish. And on some words that you look up, there's actually a little animation here where it will show a little short cartoon of someone pronouncing it. So your students have that choice as well. But there's just a limited number of words that it does that for. So those are two options here, just going to google.com and using the same Google Translate function or going to translate.google.com and using the features there.